I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Force because we're going to pre-select categories from the card and force hands in just these categories. This is a great way to push yourself to play outside your comfort zone in categories you might not normally think about. Also, if you like to play in special events, a lot of times they'll pick a category and the player to win a hand in that category will win a prize. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. And we'll force hands in these categories. We have a Joker, Flower, North and South, Red Dragon, 1, 4, 6 in Cracks, 8, 9 in Dots, 7, 8 in Bams, pairs of 6 dots and 9 dots. Oh wait, that's a crack, 6 crack, 9 dots. If these were your tiles, which of these categories would you force and what would be your first pass? These were my tiles. I'd build around the multiples. Six, nine. Really, there's only one way to do it. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, we have a gap, but maybe we could use this. Eight, nine. So considering consecutive run, I probably would keep the seven, nine, because maybe we could do something else in consecutive run. So six, nine, maybe six through nine, let those go. How about those three? We got a seven, a flower, and a nine. We have two tiles to pass, so we have to pick a hand. I would keep the flowers, that's a multiple. Then we have six, oh, let's see, six, six, seven, eight in mixed suits. Or we could do seven, eight, nine in one suit. So I would let the nine bam go. We got a six dot. And we have tiles to pass, so we really don't have to pick a hand yet. We can keep going. We have a nine bam, four, one. I don't know, let's see, six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine, six. I think I would wanna probably break that up a little bit. Really, there's only one hand you could use, one suit, one, nine, four. That would be the first odd hand. So I, I, I don't think there's too much risk there, but I think I'd feel better passing a different suit. Okay, now we have an eight and another flower. So the, there are no mixed suit hands in consecutive run with more than a pair. So, but I wouldn't pass a flower. I would still keep it. I would definitely pass the one bam. We have six, seven, eight, one suit or seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine in one suit or six, seven, eight in mixed suits. I think I'd risk passing the white dragon here. We got the nine dot. So that's a bigger multiple. So I would let these go. 
and play 7, 8, 9. Here, we could maybe do pear, pung, kong and use five flowers. So I'd break up the six, probably pass two with that and a west. Nine bam, I wouldn't keep that. This looks pretty good to me. We'll pass these three. Oh, we did get a white dragon, but with these flowers, I wouldn't keep it. I'd probably discard that first. We have five discards, so we'll be an underdog here, but we do have two strong multiples. We need to quint here, pung here, kong here. Really, if we just even get one more flower or another joker, then we would be set for this because we need a pair here, pung here, kong here. We could pung and kong. We just need a little help here or maybe pair that up to give us some breathing room while we build this up. So we have a consecutive run hand, five discards. We have a flower, green dragon, northwest south. In cracks, we have three, eight, nine, bams, three, four, and then we have two, three, four in dots. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force, and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would pick a pass and keep both categories in mind because we do have some potential for two, four, six, eight, and we also have potential for evens, even though we have a gap, no sixes. So we could let the green dragon go, we could let the nine go, and we could let the three go, one of the threes, even that one. So we have two, four, six, eight, or maybe a year hand. So we could maybe pass those three. We got a one for a year hand. Oh, we paired up an eight. And we have a pair in there, but we're forcing a year hand or two, four, six, eight. So I would break that up. We have an eight here, so probably I would focus on two, four, six, eight and let these go, two, four, six, eight. So let's break up that three and pass a west. We got a two and a four, two, four, six, eight, and we have tiles to pass. So we don't have to pick a hand, not till we run out of discards. We got a flower and a six and a two. Now we have to pick a hand because we've run out of discards. Well, we need one more. We're doing second left. So we could stop the Charleston, but I would not because we don't even know what hand we're picking. We're picking? We don't know what hand we're playing. So I think for two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, Here's a pair of fours. What I was thinking here is we could play two, four, six, eight, fourth hand down with twos in cracks, but we're missing that. So that would be a gap hand. The other thing I was thinking is we could play maybe the two, four, six, eight pair hand with either twos or eights. So I think I would let go of the four bam and keep going. no keepers, and we have like numbers, so I would let something else go. 
let's see. So three, seven, we're on a cross, so we have to pass. So we have two, four, six, and then we have eights in there. I think I would probably give up the two bam. That's gonna be a little bit risky, passing two, three in one suit. We could be playing a pair hand though, so I would risk it. We got a two and an eight. It's building up here for the pair hand. If we could get an eight, bam, we could play that pair hand. Or we could play the first two, four, six, eight hand. Let's pass these three. Two, bam. I would pass these three and focus on two suits. We have discards. But this looks really good for maybe the pair hand. The thing is, this 2468 category, we would need to let go of that pair hand. Maybe either play 2468 concealed or the 2468 one suit hand in order to win a prize. That pair hand could work out though if we get an 8 bam. Now we have to force a year hand. We have a west-south pair of white dragons and a red dragon. Two four in cracks with a pair of fours. Three five in dots with a pung of five dots. And a six bam, nine bam. We need to force a year hand, so we have to let that go. We're gonna try to win a prize instead. So let's keep the two. We do have white dragons. These will go. We might be able to use the wins in the concealed hand. So I would keep those. So we're going to break up the five and the four. And I guess we could do a nine in there. Flower and a north. Okay, well, we'll keep every tile we can use in the wind, not wind hand. We're playing for year, so the year category. Even though there are hands with news in the year, in the wind and dragon category, but we're going for the year category. So we're, we're probably not gonna be able to use that if we use news. So here, let's break up the five. The eight can go, and then let's do the six. This is a little risky here, but I, don't, I need to break up that five because I don't wanna be stuck with a pair if we get everything we want. One thing we could maybe do is pass the red dragon, and that way maybe we could pass these three in the next pass. We got a one. That's a year tile. So we need to let a five go, maybe three, seven, eight, four. Let's pass these three. This is not too bad, but they're all odds. Oh, we got Wests, look at that. And here we have tiles we can pass. Let's pass these three. East, all right. I think I would try for the concealed year hand. <gasps> oh, uh-oh, we're in trouble now. We've got like numbers. So we have to let something go. We don't need a West. For this year, we need Pung, Pear, Pear, Pung. So we can let that go. We're going across, so we have to pass three. We only need one white dragon. So it's painful, but I would let that go. And then I would probably pass either the crack or the five bam. So I would let these go. 
no keepers. Pass one of each suit. Oh, we got a two options. So maybe pass these three for optional. Oh, we got that West back. I would hold it. So we have three, four tiles to discard and a potential year hand. I would just gather probably for the concealed hand, which means we'd let this go, but I would hold it for a little while and play a year hand. Even if you're forcing a hand, think about building around the strength of the hand. Focus on multiples or the predominant pattern, then look at the categories that are up for grabs. Force a hand, building around the strength, and gather tiles for one of those categories. You might come home a winner. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.